Welcome to another episode of the Chokeslam Wrestling Report. I am your host, the infamous Ultimate One, and of course, I have news. I have news, the big news that has happened this week, um, and you would think that the Jeff Hardy situation was the biggest story this week. Nope. WWE topped that, and it's not positive news. It's negative news, as Vince McMahon is now being investigated by the board of directors of the WWE because they found out that he has had uh, gave gave a former paralegal employee three million dollars to keep her mouth shut for having an affair with Vince McMahon. And this being said, uh, pretty much was the big story that came from Wall Street Journal. So at the next last forty eight hours, we were trying to uh, pretty much digest this. Uh, news news came today that Vince McMahon has stepped down voluntarily supposedly voluntarily stepping back as the WWE CEO and Stephanie McMahon was named interim CEO now mind you that Vince McMahon um, you know this is I believe this is well and I don't believe I know for a fact this is not the first time that Vince McMahon has had a lot of other issues I mean if this came to the front lines now because someone decided to send an email to the board of directors a friend of this paralegal to tell their story of what happened uh, this is not good for this McMahon now mind you that I had did a recording previous to this one yesterday it was supposed to go out today but news came in of him stepping back from being a CEO. Now, at first, I said, "Well, you know, the word is that he didn't use his own the company fund to do that. You know, he used his own money, money that probably he sold in the stock market, his, sold his stocks and guys' money, and had planned to give this paralegal three million dollars." Now, the lady, the young lady, started working in 2019. Had a affair with Miss McMahon decided to quit this past January and Vince McMahon decided to say well you know what to keep your mouth shut I'll give you a million dollars up front and then I'll pay you the other two million dollars for the next five years okay so pretty much he was trying to keep her quiet not let her uh, pretty much uh, expose of what was going on now mind you that Stephanie McMahon now being the interim CEO it's kind of surprising because if you think about it, Stephanie McMahon left last month. She left, left the company, and her duties were given to Nick Khan. And now all of a sudden, you know, he's not going to give it to his son Shane McMahon because after the blow between Shane McMahon and Vince back in Royal Rumble because he wanted to be part of a big story and whatnot, trying to outshine the rest of the locker room. This is crazy. Because I, I really believe that there's, there is more stuff going on when it comes to Vince McMahon and the stuff. I mean, there would, somebody put a bunch of lists of stuff that Vince McMahon has done and has gotten away with. One particular one that pretty much I remember this when I was a kid was the female referee that popped out in 1986 as the first female referee in wrestling. There is word going around that Vince McMahon raped this girl. When she was went into his limousine to do a contract negotiation with him, he forced her to have oral sex with her, and then uh, supposedly that he raped her. He also um, there was this was on Twitter this morning. Then there was another one where he that he tried to block the uh, Superfly Snooker death of his girlfriend, which I believe he did, and try to cover that. The was an incident where uh, these sex video team with edge and leader john cena was not happy about that situation but mcmahon said told leader well you better do it or else you don't have a job this is some freaky shit that vince mcmahon has he has a hard on on stupid shit like this he doesn't respect anybody you think about it in the attitude era how many times 
did he not do some type of sex scene or not a sex scene but more of a flirtatious stuff with Trish Status where he played his wife out I think it was Wrestlemania I don't remember it was in 2000 whatever okay when you do stuff like that and that's the mindset you have to entertain the fans back then the attitude era it goes to show you what his mind is at this is what he really wants to do this is what he probably does do and behind the scenes that we don't know about okay but this McMahon right now has shot himself in the foot because now he had to step down as the CEO. And if the investigation turns out that, that, that I mean, they're talking about this other stuff that is uh, non disclosure stuff that has been coming out. I mean, who knows? This is a black eye to wrestling. And now there's word going around that he's going to show up at SmackDown tonight. To say what? He Is he really using this situation as a storyline? You know, a real life storyline or a real life situation and put it as a storyline, it'd be incredible to see this. I have to see SmackDown tonight when he comes out. I have to see just to see that part. I don't care for SmackDown, I don't care for WWE. I have to see this. Now you ask yourself, why am I reporting this? Because this is big. Three million dollars? You know, and it came out of his pocket. Was this the reason why he was letting go all these wrestlers last year that he let go over eighty something wrestlers and the year before was more money? That he was letting go. I mean, he, it was a $4 million, if you think about it, of people he let go in 2020. And then he left another 84 or something, or almost 100 wrestlers go, including NXT star, including some more Joes, uh, you know, all host of other wrestlers. Steven Regal let go. All these wrestlers are now in, even Bray Wyatt got let go. You got to ask yourself this question. How the hell all this happened? And was he doing it because he knew he had to pay this woman? He had to have some, the money. So... This came from Fightful Select this morning at 7.31. A big shakeup at the top of the WWE on Wednesday. The Wall Street Journal published a report saying the WWE Board of Directors is investigating McMahon on a secret $3 million hush pack regarding an alleged affair. John Laurinaitis, the father of the Bella Twins, and I'm going to say that because, you know, head of talent relations has also been investigated for his involvement. Supposedly, he, they were using this young lady, Vince McMahon, gave it to John Laurinaitis as a toy. That was the report that came in on Wednesday. As a result of the investigation, WWE announced that Vince McMahon had voluntarily stepped back from his responsibility as the CEO and chairman of the board until the conclusion of the investigation. Stephanie McMahon has been appointed to serve as NM CEO and NM chairwoman. Vince McMahon will retain his role and responsibility related to WWE's, WWE's created content during this period. So basically, he's still going to be doing created control. So now... He's doing, going to do his job now, probably piss the hell off and probably going to fire more people because the man is in deep shit right now, okay? So, you know, um, this is crazy because right now, if you think about it, you know, this is not good. This is not good at all. This is not good for WWE. It's not good for, I mean, for the all the other sponsors and all that. I mean, of course, the sponsors and advertising's, Will they stop dealing with WWE? Would AEW start stealing a lot of these uh, ad, ad, um, advertisers and, and, and all this? I doubt it. Highly doubt it. But this one, I don't think McMahon can escape. He's not going to escape this one. And it's bad enough because right now he has another issue, which is the former XFL commissioner who sued McMahon for the XFL role. Uh, they didn't. Uh, pretty much they didn't um, came to an agreement on that that's going on trial on July I believe 11 or 31st I don't, I don't remember so July something and then he has his issue with MLW uh, remember MLW sued WWE because they tried to stop him from going to Vice TV actually they, they, they did succeed it uh, but there was an antitrust situation there uh, and that's probably he's going to get hit with that so McMahon right now, um, he shot himself in the foot. Everybody talking about, you know, I mean, you have to hear the stupidity on Twitter and whatnot about how people's blaming AEW for this now. Saying that Tony Khan is looking and searching for stuff to blame stuff on, w uh, on McMahon. I mean, you, you, these, have, these have WWE fans who go on Twitter and say the most stupidest, stupidest shit that you ever hear 
because they don't want to believe that this is happening in front of their face that, that what McMahon did and or has done it's not happening well guess what if look at all the attitude era things that they did the storylines then when it came to females it was like a, it was like a, 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 a strip show you know what I'm saying he had a hard on on that and it's the, it's the truth and if people are not gonna agree with me but it is what it is and right now he's in trouble he's in trouble he may lose he, he may get kicked out as being the CEO of the company and you know Nick Khan is waiting in the in the wings and if he gets that he'll probably either sell the company or you know sell the company to NBC I mean I still think they're gonna sell the company I mean because McMahon don't give a rat's ass if you think about it, he's 76 years old he got money coming out of his ass if you think about it and now this situation right now that you know he, he's in trouble he's in trouble and I mean now maybe you're gonna see some type of improvement because I'm sure that Stephanie McMahon well then again they said that creative wise he, um, McMahon is still in charge of the creative so basically Raw and Smack are still gonna be shitty now the fact is why is he going to Smack to do what to do what to go and say that um, he's gonna beat this or this in his accusation and and I'm, I'm surprised that he stepped down because to me and, and and why am I surprised because I figure he didn't use company money to do this hush hush even though it's illegal whatever the hell you want to call it and it, this is not the first time he probably paid other stuff to to do remember McMahon is proud of beating the government in 1994 when there was the steroid scandal back in 94 that ultimate warrior Hulk Hogan came to testify and everybody thought he was gonna testify against them against him and it didn't happen it didn't happen now this one it's, it's not in the court of law but now we're talking about a lot of stuff even Kevin Dunn is the, there was a report going around on five foot select that Kevin Dunn may be charged with insider trading you know that's illegal but they're saying that he hasn't been he hasn't been a, a uh, board of directors in quite some time in years so but if they find there's something wrong this is this is the listen this is the we're talking about not the company probably falling apart not from the bottom it's coming from the top you know what I'm saying and it's just stuff that you got to ask yourself these questions like you know is this gonna affect the product itself um because McMahon right now he's not gonna give a rat's I figure if I go down everything goes down McMahon's gonna go down with the company that's the way he is McMahon and you know he's talking about he got the biggest grapefruit in professional wrestling or in sports entertainment whatever that's what he calls it and it's very sad because the company I don't even watch WWE I don't care what happens in WWE you know what I'm saying that that is the crazy part I don't care uh, you know before I used to watch it maybe I said oh, maybe there's something good but but I noticed that the more I don't see the more crazy stuff is coming out of WWE I mean it's just you know the latest was the rumor going around that Sasha Bank got released um that was going around Wednesday night with Resident Inc confirmed uh, not confirmed but saying that there's rumors going around that Sasha Bank got let go at, at the end of the day that has not been confirmed Sean Roll Sapp hasn't confirmed it Russell talk hasn't confirmed it uh five select hasn't confirmed it nothing had nobody has confirmed anything you know and then you got all these people already doing AEW uh, uh banners with uh, Sasha Bank right you know all the lead whatever but I'm not going to report on that onto I see that is a fact because I'm not going to go in here and just say anything and then look stupid later on that you know I did a video that oh Sasha Bank left over the video she never left but this situation here with Vince McMahon oh yes this is big how is it going to affect the company we don't know you know what I'm saying so oh, oh let me put this overall wrestling itself uh, um right now professional wrestling right now is pretty good because of what's happening right now with New Japan and AEW but as far as this sports entertainment with with WWE uh we don't know I, I mean I don't know but again the WWE universe those people that don't leave the freaking bubble are gonna come with excuses they're gonna come up and say oh it's AEW and Tony Khan looking into this and this and that why would Tony Khan even bother to look for stuff like that and court not that that's the next thing you're gonna hear people are gonna say oh someone from AEW call the board of directors and said this and this and that because that's what I'm, I'm listening to the most stupidest thing in wrestling right now the stupidity you hear from from wrestling fans and the wrestling fans sometimes are the worst 
because one they think they know everything and two they'll come up with the stupidest you know they'll come up with anything stupid just to just to say oh no this guy you know no that's not true that's bullshit and blah 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 you know and just they don't take the time to you know to really look at stuff and say you know what there's a possibility that he got caught if you look at the history of mcmahon with the with the uh the dirt the thing that's why first of all think about it why do you think he stopped dark side of the ring dark side of the ring um didn't get renewed by vice because i'm sure mcmahon now wants to do his own thing where they're going to do it more uh wwe friendly because he doesn't want you to know the truth but this now do you think vice is going to go and take this stuff you know what i'm saying you sleep in, in bed with the devil the man right now who's not being accused of giving some woman three million dollars hush money so you know she doesn't talk that she had an affair with him okay now this does not sound like something for wrestling but there's something to look at because now you have to ask yourself this question is this gonna affect wwe product even worse or people are gonna turn and be like i don't want to watch this shit no more i'm not supporting wwe are they gonna lose more viewers are people even going to i mean i'm hearing the world this week we only have three thousand people in the arena this is how bad wwe has gotten okay it has gotten and the fact that you did something like that you pay a woman to stay quiet because she had an affair with you is horrible in every way horrible 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 that is it for me today guys and i just wanted to bring that up real quick uh, again we don't know what's going to happen um and i'm going to be following up this up all the way to sunday when i do my audio podcast the chokeslam wrestling report on apple spotify iHeartRadio, stitcher google podcast and any audio podcast that you guys like to listen to your shows but i'm going to follow this up i'm going to uh, cause this sunday i'll definitely be talking about other stuff including the uh the new japan dominion show i'm going to give you my feedback on that who's involved in the g1 climax this week i'll tell you who's involved in the g1 climax 32 and a host of other stuff that i have but this is it's a big news and also we're going to cover jeff hardy's situation his suspension so we got a bunch of stuff coming up on the audio podcast but that is it for me guys again you want to follow me follow me on instagram facebook and um instagram and twitter of course um uh, usually i'll be on twitter and I, I give my thoughts on twitter a lot uh shout out to all those people who have been supporting me i'm got 208 subscribers so far in this channel and i need two more to make 210 um so guys share 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 this video with everybody again you can also visit my store and get the shirt the choke slam wrestling report shirt and why not on tcwr very impressive.com very impressive.com that's tcwr dot very ink Impressive.com and get your shirt, get your hats, get your hoodies. Get I got other shirts in there, so check it out. It's, uh, register to the website so you get to see this video, you get to listen to the audio, and you get to shop at the same time on this website, the tcwr.veryinkpressive.com. Until then, guys, be safe, be blessed, and I will see you guys next week with more news.